Hi guys. Um, today I wanted to talk about um, how to use your repositional, repositionable hoop. Um, I have a um, Brother PE770. Um, so my embroidery area, uh, the maximum is 5 by 7 um, but sometimes when I'm doing long names, I want um, the name to stand out bolder, so I need to go beyond 5 by, five by um, 7 um, The brother gives me an option to get a rep repositionable hoop um, that is 5 by 12 And so what you see here on the screen is a long name um, in a 5 by 12 hoop. Um, and so the uh, so what pro knows that is my uh, repo hoop. Uh, you see those little P's up at the top. Um, when I click on it, it'll tell me the area for each of these positions. Um, and if you were to save this file, it'll break it up for you. You see how each letter is a separate color stop. Um, so this is probably the most straightforward to do um, to use a repositionable hoop is if you have all different color stops. Um, so so what Pro is going to know um, which letters it has to put in each position, and it'll give you three files. So when you're sewing in your machine, um, you load one file at a time. The 5x12 hoop has um, three positions, and so I can attach it to my machine um, in these three different positions. And so I would load the first file, put the hoop in the first position, um, stitch whatever is in there, load the second file, second position, and until it finishes. Um, I wanted to show you though that whenever you have um, a long name, um, I have found that I never have to use a P2 um, unless there's something strange going on in in the middle. But you know, P2 is kind of in the middle. But there's um, there is overlap between P1 and P3, and so I hope that you can see here. P1 is highlighted in red. P3, the position, is highlighted in blue. So that means that all of the letters that are fully contained within this blue area can go into P3. If I were to save this right now, um, so what Pro tends to use all three positions, and I'm lazy and I just want to save myself um, the trouble or you know having to position my hoop again and stop again. So what I do is um, I am hitting control and selecting, uh, I think that actually I ended up putting the C here. So first I'm going to move the C up, so shift and go all the way to the top. And so now the C is my first position and then A and R. Um, I'm going to open my palette, my color palette, and I'm going to change it to a different color, any color, it doesn't matter, green. Um, and then now I have CAR which I know fit in my number one position and I have O L I N E that I know fit in my three position. Um, so what I do, I go to edit, join threads, join all adjacent threads of the same color. So I think you see where this is going. Um, so what pro now, instead of having all the separate letters, views this as two separate designs. And so he has one design, um, and then it has another design, and each of these designs is self-contained within one of the positions. Um, so you can see that the green area, the, the green letters fit entirely within P1, and the blue letters fit entirely within P3. So um, when I save this, so I'm just going to save as um, to my desktop, I'm going to save it as Caroline. Um, and what SOA Pro is going to do is going to split this file automatically for me. So you're going to see that um, it'll give me individual files with the extensions P1, P2, and P3. When I click on OK though, watch this, it only gives me two patterns. So it tells me pattern 1 goes into hoop position number 1 and pattern 2 goes into hoop position number 3 um, instead of having you know all the three separate ones. You don't have to stress about knowing which of your hoop position is, is one or two or three. It really doesn't matter. It'll depend on the direction of this file is going to be loaded in your machine and how your piece is hooped. You can't actually flip it 180 um, without any consequence whatsoever. Um, anyway, so there you go. Now I have uh, two separate files that I can load into my machine and that is stitch it in a big old 5x12 hoop for me. I hope you guys enjoy and happy stitching.